Let's do a really quick video on a really simple way to make you feel, I would say, at least 30% better than you do right now that will last you most likely the whole day. That is an easy way to do it, but it's kind of, it's hard to. <laughs> You're not going to like it. And that is a cold shower. Taking cold showers are when I say easy, it's easy because you know what to do to make you feel better, but obviously it's difficult to do this. Taking cold showers changed my life. I started doing them around 2008, 2009, and to be honest, I, I was very consistent with this for maybe a couple of years, and then I stopped and slowed down and did it every now and again, and then picked up back again. And now it's once again an important part of, of my life for the past four or five years. and. <clears throat> There's, there's a lot of things that happen when you, when you take a cold shower. First of all, uh, cold showers cool down and bring down the inflammation that, is, that exists in, in our bodies. And most people are suffering uh, inflammation of some, some kind. Inflammation due to poor diet, poor posture. For example, if you're sitting all day on a computer and your head is hanging down, you're, you're supposed to be in a, in a, this is how we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be, you know, in a good stance. Knees bent, not flat-footed. Most humans, uh, most of us unfortunately, because of the furniture, because of the way that we believe life should be, are, are struggling every day. Um, you know, the tables, chairs, they're all um, very unnatural. The, the correct way that we're designed to be sitting is to be squatting. Um, so the, the world is, is designed in a way that's, that's um, making us, that's, that's unhealthy for us and causes us a lot of physical suffering. So <clears throat> it all comes from the feet, you know, when you don't have the, when you're not standing correctly, um, and it affects your digestion, your breathing, everything. When, you're, when your body is not aligned in the way it should be, it's, th things start putting stress. So your head is a very heavy object, and when you're on the computer leaning slightly down, you're putting a lot of uh, constant stress on the upper back, you know, and sitting is really extremely unnatural because you're from from your butt to your head. It's a lot of weight, and it's not supposed to all be driving into your lower back constantly all day. It's supposed to be absorbed by um, your knees being bent by your you know your your feet your feet and your your knees and your legs are supposed to be shock absorbers for your entire body so that's why squatting is good you're like a shock absorber all your weight is is uh, being distributed really well and evenly and it's the same when you walk if you walk correctly or if you run correctly or standing even correctly then you're absorbing your weight and and uh, there's no stress. But the problem is 95% of people don't know how to stand correctly, don't know how to walk correctly, don't know how to sit correctly. And how can, how can we when, you know, you've got someone who designed this thinking that, you know, that's going to be good. Anyway, so... First reason for inflammation is just our physical, uh, just our environment, you know, beds, tables, tables are at the wrong height, chairs are at the wrong height, so I urge everyone, I've been doing this for a long time myself, to create an environment for yourself at home that is 
you know, that um, fits with your body type, with your height and everything. Okay, and this, this is a book right here. I mean, I, I could probably, I should, probably should write a, a book about this because it's all to do with, like, you know, where the door handles are, you know, where, you know, how high your table is. Every detail is important. You know, um, your, your chair when you're driving, everything. All right, so the first one is physical alignment issues that create the, you know, inflammation. And inflammation is basically your, your body is like on fire. And one of the, one of the uh, things that, that causes anxiety, depression, difficulty breathing, you know, a lot of our mental suffering comes from physical pain. But the thing is, like, over time, we become numb to that physical pain. We forget that it's there, okay? Um, and we just have the anxiety. We have the, the difficulty breathing. We have, you know, we, we don't realize that there's actually physical pain there. And this is why so many people are addicted on uh, painkillers. You know, people like to smoke weed or do all other, you know, alcohol. Uh, other, so many things that when we when we take them suddenly all that pain that exists in our daily life that we've become numb to it just it goes away and it just, there's a euphoric blissful feeling the thing is that that euphoric blissful feeling can exist if you address your you know uh, what's causing the pain in your life the physical pain so the first one is just your posture your body alignment when it's not correct, it creates stress, inflammation, physical pain. And when you take a cold shower, it cools down that. And it feel, it's hard to do this but because nobody wants to go into a cold shower. But you can kind of like go step by step, you know. And, and, and every day go more and more. That's how I did it. And if it gets too much, go back to the warm and then give yourself another quick blast of the cold. But make sure that when you get the cold, you, feel, you can feel the, the cooling that's happening. And then you can sense where in your body you've got the, the inflammation the most. For me, it's around my neck, you know, my head, you know, because there's so much going on thinking and, you know, stress. So it really cools down your body. And it can last, it, it, your body just needs, needs that relief. And it can last for a long time. It will improve your mood. You'll feel so much better. So the first one is that physical alignment. The second one is diet, poor diet, especially sugar and carbs. Um, for me, I, I've, got, I've gotten to the, uh, to the point where when I do eat sweet things, cakes, you know, bread. Remember, bread is, is, like, is like very like cake, okay? It's carbs. It's sugar. you got to watch the sweet drinks, all... You, I'm not going to go into listing them, but for me, when I first got into health, uh, I was shocked when, you know, I found out certain things were not good for me. Like, I thought juices are fine, fruit juices, but, you know, it's sugar. So you have to be very, very careful with your sugar intake because sugar uh, also creates inflammation, uh, damages your uh, cir circulation by, by hurting your liver, all right? So... So you've got body alignment, then your diet, and you know, imagine you're combining these factors, like you're sitting all day, your head's hanging, it's creating stress and, and pain around your neck and uh, inflammation, and then you're just eating like drinking coffee and you know, sugar and muffins and whatever, yeah? it's just, it's creating all this pain in your body. <clears throat> um, so those are just two for now. The video is getting longer than I want, so I'm going to wrap it up. But as you can guess, there's, this is a huge topic, and there's so much um, that goes into it. But cold shower, very quickly, I'm going to wrap this up, brings down inflammation. Um, it raises, and this, I don't want to sound too hippie-ish here, but warmth, jacuzzis, Warmth is like a low vibration, and I don't want to put negative thoughts in your head, but it's more towards death. <laughs> it's like sleep, death, slow, 
slow, you know, let not moving when it's warm. When you're under warm water, it's it's a relief, but it's because you're going towards, you know, um, slowing down, you know, low energy. And it might feel good, but it's if you get get jump in a cold shower, if you turn the shower to cold, it raises your vibration. You know, it's it's a higher vibration. It's more in tune with life, with energy. And it will be difficult at first because you're not going to be used to it. But it's like everything. You just the more and more you do it, and you condition your mind to to that higher frequency, more aliveness, more more energy. You're going to love it, and you're going to get addicted to this feeling because it's just going to make you feel more alive, more energetic. So those are just a few things. There's a, there's a lot more advantages and benefits of the cold shower, but I urge you all to find the strength to just try it out physically, mentally. Mentally, it will also make you stronger because it's a difficult thing to do, and when you can accomplish goals that you set, it uh, builds your confidence. And also, um, when you when you're doing things that are good for you, it's just it's very good for the mind. Okay, so those are just a few things. And so uh, go ahead and jump in and try out a cold shower. And if you are find that eventually easy, you know, then uh, I salute you and uh, you know. Try to add it into your life. These are the things that we can add into our life to make our life better, to make us mentally stronger, physically healthier, and so that we can enjoy life with less pain. All right, so hope there's something in there that helps. Bye.